y'all, God woke me up this morning with a word of encouragement for us and I've been ripping and running all day and have not been obedient to deliver the message. So I'm doing it now, better late than never, right? So the word of the Lord says this, you are going to bloom where God plants you. You know, a lot of us have had the experience of just not fitting in, in relationships, on jobs, in organizations, and it really hurts to not fit in, to feel like you don't belong, to feel like you're strange and odd and that you just can't find the experiences that really match who you are so that your life can really take off and kind of, um, you know, flourish. And what came to mind for me is when my best friend challenged me about a job that I was on and it just wasn't working out. I was exhausted. I was drained. I didn't feel fulfilled. And after probably complaining for the thousandth time, she said to me, Jay, when are you going to acknowledge that this job uh, doesn't align with your work style? And thank God, Karen, uh, for people uh, who will challenge you and, um, you know, tell you the truth and not just pat you on the back and say, oh, it'll be OK. You know, we need those friends who are like, girl, what are you doing? And I never thought of it that way. I'm like, what do you mean doesn't align with my work style? You know, you come to work, you show up, you work hard, you get a check and you go home. It doesn't have to align with your work style. But, oh, yeah, it, it does. Sure, we have to pay our dues in some jobs and we may not be able to jump right out there and get the job that we want. But you are a unique person. God wired you differently from everyone else. He knows the very hairs on your head. And so based on us being unique people, there are just experiences that don't match well with us. And what happens is piggybacking a little bit on my message from yesterday, we force the door in in places. We force ourselves in relationships and jobs and organizations. And we go through life having this very empty experience because we still just don't fit. We don't feel fulfilled. And that's why the Lord is saying to you, you're going to bloom where he plants you. You're going to have the experience of feeling like, this is my tribe. These are my people. I fit in here with these people. You're going to have the experience of this relationship is great. Finally, I found someone who understands me, who is a great match for me. You're going to get that job that aligns well with your skill sets and the way you're wired and the way your brain works. But the key is, and God kept saying, this is the key. You're going to bloom and flourish where God plants you. Y'all, that's the key. We have to let him plant us. Now, I'm not saying that means you have to change your geographical location. Um, maybe for some of you, that is what God is saying, but that's not necessarily it. It's more the experience of letting God choose the relationships, letting God choose the job, letting God choose your church, letting God choose your social activity so that you can have the experience of, you know what? I didn't have the insight about myself that I needed to have to understand why the things that I was choosing were not a good fit. But because God knows me better than I know myself, he's going to lead me to the place where everything comes together. And scripture confirms this for us. I am reading from the English Standard Version and I'm reading Psalm 92 verses 12 through 13. It says the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Cedars in Lebanon were huge. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. Where are the courts of our God, where his presence is, where he's telling us to go, where we're anointed to be. So I just want to encourage you today. If you feel like you don't fit in and you're feeling the pain of Lord, when will my life finally come together? The word of the Lord says you are going to bloom or flourish where God plants you.